Hello, today I want to show you how to create a quick grunge filter in Photoshop using gradients, textures and brushes. My name is Ivan and I have been professionally working in Photoshop for 9 years. Before we start, I would like to recommend you Envato Elements. Here you can find a great collection of Photoshop effects and textures. Subscribe to Envato Elements to access millions of creative assets. You can follow along with the written tutorial over on our website. The link is in the description. Let's start by opening our image in Photoshop. Go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue Saturation and set the saturation to minus 35. Let's create our light leak. Go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Gradient Fill and set the style to linear, angle to 0 and scale to 100. Now you need to click on Gradient Strip to open Gradient Editor and use the stops which you can see on the screen. And finally, change the blend mode of your gradient fill to screen. Now let's go to File, Place and put two grunge textures above all the layers. Change the blend mode of the textures to soft light. You can try other blending modes to get different results. For example, overlay if you want to get a hard grunge effect. Let's create a grunge overlay using a free brush. Create a new layer and press B to activate the brush tool. Select grunge brush and make a few strokes with a white color. Change the blending mode to soft light and the opacity to about 25%. Here's our result. Now I would like to show you how easily you can create a grunge effect in Photoshop with templates and actions from Envato Elements. Let's start with Vintage Template. Open the PSD file and then right-click Edit Contents on Placeholder layer. Place your image inside the newly opened window and then close and save the placeholder layer. Select light leaks and textures by making layers visible. Here's the result of applying the template. Now let's try to use grunge to action, which will create a really beautiful picture from your photo. Install the actions and brushes by opening it in Photoshop. After that, create a new layer above your background and name it Brush. Brush the areas of your image where you want to apply the effect. Open the Actions panel with Alt F9 case combination then select the action and press play. During the work of grunge action, you will see a pop-up window to import the texture you want to use. Just press continue and select the texture you like more. Here's the result of grunge to action applied to our image. Today you have learned how to make quick grunge filter in Photoshop using overlays, brushes and adjustment layers. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check our channel for more useful tutorials.